Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbatch.com, out here with my competition loadout from High Desert Brutality, shooting in the Irons Division. So if you're unfamiliar with brutality matches, there's a number of them stateside and then super awesome one overseas, Finnish Brutality. And this one was High Desert Brutality, so down in Southern Idaho. I shot in a couple different divisions, this being my loadout from the Irons Division and we'll start kind of bottom up i for this it's dress up at the end of the day and if people are being honest most of the time when people go to the range playing dress up because usually in your daily life you don't have like battle belt plate carrier anything like that so while i was dressing up i was like let's get some reps that largely usable maybe in day-to-day -day life and so i basically decided to kind of run everything from concealment as much as I could. Granted, I was shooting a long gun too. But as far as footwear, I do not have them with me and I did not wear them. They, I reviewed them before, my limbs, primals in, great shoes, and they did a good job for me there, or down there rather. And then I, for my pants, was wearing these right here. I don't know if I reviewed this exact pair, but these are by Prometheus Design Works. They're their Raider Cut, which this will go back in the pocket. The, the layout, honestly, it does a great job for me. Just the way the pockets are and stuff, like it works with my life. As far as how I carry blades, magazine, tourniquet, like all that stuff. And so these did a great job for me. It was definitely, not cold down there it was really warm but i had those and then i had just the shirt from die free co and then my cover shirt because wanted something low profile right was this one which is pretty awesome it's by Adi ot ate gear whatever it is and it has yeah ak's high powers rpds all kinds of things to include flowers on it. And that's what I was wearing. And then of course, well, I guess go over Eye Pro Ear Pro, because that's the thing, especially shooting steel. Granted, most of it was not close. I ended up using these, reviewed them before the auto noise barrier micros and comfortable and especially not being over ear when it's really hot is nice because you're not sweating into gel cups or anything like that and always well pretty much always wear iPro anyway when shooting but when wearing iPro with over your hearing protection depending on the length duration it's nice not having like gel cups over ear pro and or over iPro which brings us to these I reviewed these before a long time ago and now they are new. So I got these, these are the Director by, or Director Elite by Smith. And these frames actually had sent in to Zeiss and ended up with amazing, super clean, clear ballistic lenses put in them. This was the first time I actually had the opportunity to shoot with them and they did a rad job. So wanting to get reps basically from concealment, largely everything was concealed so i was actually shooting this right here one this holster by carry concealment and then this pistol which is my cz p10 c again shooting in irons i have yet to do anything to this pistol so basically factory irons on here and yeah this pistol did a good job it wasn't really pistol heavy the competition and if and when I missed, or when I missed, most certainly was not the pistol. Like I said, it did a good job. As far as ammo for it, I was shooting this right here by Callaway Ballistics, and I ended up having to go get ammo, or side note, I'll tell you that story in a second. I also ended up buying some of this ammo because I was shooting in two divisions. I basically shot this entire setup during like, essentially the match or the like RO match, which was Friday, every single stage. And then the other division I shot Saturday and Sunday. 
but I ended up buying some of this from another competitor because I'm like, I might be light on pistol after shooting through with essentially one loadout and then shooting the whole match again. Going back to drawing from concealment, ended up running these Neomax, had them in a couple different pockets and they did good. One, the there's definitely some nuance as far as drawing mags out, but there also wasn't a ton of pistol shooting to where you're conducting tons of reloads, so it didn't really matter. But they ultimately did a good job in that they kept my magazines exactly where I expected them to be. So when I did have a conductor reload or take a mag out, like it was always right there, easy to grab, and going with my theme, they were concealed too. For rifle, I ended up wearing this. I actually reviewed this before. I think I used this in, a, I think a class at Thunder Ranch, night vision class a while ago, and it did a great job for me. Unobtainium gear, I forget what they call this rig. Basically it has four cells on um, kind of around the sides, I guess. The front is actually slick. So if you actually button a shirt up or something, it actually lays flat, but you still have access to your magazines, to the sides. And then on the front of each of these cells, there's actually a cell for pistol mags if you want to run that. But I had my magazines in here and yeah, with that cover shirt, basically reach in, conduct reloads out of it. And yeah, it did a good job. Not to mention just really lightweight and comfortable. Which now brings us to the long gun I was shooting, this right here not incredibly long it's actually sbr this is the i believe 10 and a half inch brn 180 by brownells and on here i have stock from occam defense to include their wood panel insert quick note on that still a little bit loose i actually did not like loctite these so they ended up coming loose in the middle of the competition not a big deal. I basically just hand tightened them back, called it good. On here for a sling, was running this. This is the Lead Slinger by Tactical Distributors. And like always, there'll be links to all this stuff down below. And then this gun does get hot, being a piston. So right here, Hot Pocket by Lunar Concepts. Pretty handy, pretty nice. Um, yeah, just keeping your hand from making contact with that. And then Scalarworks Peak Iron Sights. And lastly, Trash Panda by Q Silencer. Again, chambered in 762 by 39. And this aftermarket charging handle, which was really nice as well. So this gun was not the ideal setup for that competition by any stretch. Basically, pretty much every stage was roughly 200 to 500 yard shots with whatever long gun you had. So 10 and a half inch, 762 by 39 with iron sights. Fortunately, pretty much every stage there was spotters like ROs, so they could spot and call your impacts as well as your hits. And that was definitely helpful because man, I had to earn it with this thing. Like. I definitely had to work for it, but I was really pleased. Actually did a really good job for me, like this setup, as long as I was doing my part. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun shooting it. Right edge, elevation good. Hey. So as a quick aside, I ended up bringing a bunch of this down, Bernal. Their 125 grain soft point did a great job, but comma, part of it's probably just kind of like a semantics thing, but when they ended up putting out the information for the match, I think the wording was something along the lines of approximately this many rounds as far as a round count, not this many hits. And so I'm like, oh, I'll just bring a little more than that. Not the right option definitely went way light and by like halfway through because again I was shooting the entire match compressed in one day so about like halfway through the day I'm like I'm not gonna have enough ammo for this in part shooting 762 by 39 at like 
500 yard targets, 10 and a half inch barrel with iron sights. So it was taking probably a lot more rounds than it otherwise would with maybe a different setup. So I actually ran in the middle of the match. I'm like, hey, do we have time before? And fortunately we did like the squad in front of us, they were taking a while. So I was like, hey, put me in the back if it comes up to me. And if I'm not back in time, like I'll figure something out, but I need to go get ammo. So loaded up my boys, we ended up driving to a whole nother state about 25 minutes away just over the border i forget the town there's like a wasn't even sporting goods store it was like a farm supply store over in uh, oregon and so ended up picking up some of this the igman yeah brass cased it was the cheapest stuff i could find and finished out the match with it which fortunately it worked out well even though i had like a whole case of this sitting at home Again, just didn't think to bring it. Overall, as far as this loadout goes, it was really fun. Like, it was fun on a bunch of levels. One, running around with a sweet Hawaiian shirt and a really fun rifle. Granted, this was not like the gamer's version of, hey, what should I bring to this competition? This was just like, hey man, like, I'm gonna bring what I'm gonna bring and I'm gonna have to really earn it out there. And I did, but like I said, it was just a lot of fun. None of this stuff, there was no, there was no piece of gear that was like, oh man, like this did not do a good job for me, like failed me in some way. Really just across the board, everything worked. I definitely, definitely had to work for it with these irons on the 10 and a half inch 7.62 by 39. But yeah, across the board, it was just, it was a great time out there. I had a blast with this whole setup. But as I mentioned before, there'll be links down below. You can go check everything out if you're interested. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, patches, KBAT target pads, or supporting me directly through Patreon. All that stuff helps me go out and create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Forward to seeing you next time.